All right, let's see if I can get through this. Um, in the previous videos, we have left out the S&P 500 sectors script, which I wanted to share. There's actually two of those. Uh, and then there's a labels script as well. Um, and there's a few more that I have on text edit that I wanted to go through with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and, and look through those and look through some of the code uh, just to get to, you know, to recognize some of the stuff that we've covered so far. Uh, and one of them is this one down here, which is the shared, shared, shared labels is something I ran into the other day. So let's dive right in. And here is my thinkorswim received items. Remember, when you go to the shared items, these are the ones that you publish. So whenever you publish uh, or you want to share the link to something, uh, this is whatever you receive. OK, so there's a couple in here. The one thing that I don't like, and I believe it has something to do with also the way you received, um, and in this case, I received a particular script, is that I didn't put a name, either because I didn't get a chance to do so or because I didn't know that I could. Anyway. Um, and this one, possibly because it was already uh, in the script's name. So let's dive right into the sectors. Now, if you go over here to the sectors, you can see you know, a lot of information, who wrote it, you can copy it, share it to somebody else, and you can preview it. And some of them actually have a preview, but most of them, if you, let me see, look at these, they just have like some generic uh, think script you know, coding up and down arrow icon. So that's not very helpful at all. And that's the case for most of them, as far as I can tell. Um, a few of them, then all of a sudden you run into something that looks a little bit different. Uh, this might be one of the studies that I have. Uh, and then this one is indeed one of the ones that, uh, one of the S&P ones that I want to share. And that is a chart one. And this one is a grid one, okay? So here it's telling you the kind of, of script that it is, right? So the chart means that it shows up on the chart. The grid show, means that it look, it shows up as a grid layout, which is something that we covered, I believe, um, in the previous videos when we were talking about, uh, let me see, yeah, we were talking about the four quick tips. So I'm gonna link to that one right here. So let's go ahead and see what that one looks like. Um, so come over here to charts. And I have this layout, which I like. So let me switch over from it. I've already saved it. So when you save a grid layout script, it shows up in here, right? Right there. When you save a quotes, a, a column script, it shows up, remember we said here, when you go to the customize or over here, if you go to the little cog wheel or gear icon, they show up on this side, right? Uh, when you add a study, it shows up in the studies which is over here. There's a, quite a few uh, places where they can show up. This is one of them. Or if you just go you know, straight to the beaker icon and then uh, they're gonna be in here as well, right? Uh, you just drop down through here and go to the user, user defined, right? And then there, there they are. Uh, but in this case, it's uh, over here. So this is a grid layout. So I've already saved it and here it is. So let me just, you know, and it's going to ask you if you're already using a grid, uh, then, the current, then the current grid layout will be reloaded. So are you sure you want to, you know, load the configuration? Well, it doesn't really give you an option. So I'm going to go ahead, unless you want to save that grid, right? You can save the grid as, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to save it as, because I'm not sure it was a two by two. So I'm going to save it as PL strategy, right? I'm going to go ahead and hit save on that one. OK, and then let's go back to oh, let's go over to let's see if the two by two was that one, because it might not have been. Yeah, the two by two was something else that I was <clears throat> that I was messing around with. Uh, so let's go over to the, uh, the S&P sectors. OK, so this is one of those publicly available uh, scripts. Right, and it's available from Thinkorswim or from you know, TD Ameritrade, and um, it's kind of cool because it gives you, you know, kind of a uh, a top view uh, of the the main S and P sector. So it gives you nine of them. So that's you know that's pretty good. So I haven't really looked into it to see which ones are not in there, but um, if you come over here, I believe. No, we'll look at those later, but. Um, so you get a, a, 
a clear view of what's going on in the market okay and like I mentioned in that uh, investment strategy video which by the way I did link here and then I a couple of videos later I talked about how I couldn't find the other one which was the one with the PowerPoint presentation that's because it's actually a options video so I believe it's this one that I'm gonna link to here uh, you need to keep an eye on not just the ticker that you're trading but also you know the sector that you're trading and if you keep an eye on you know a few sectors even if you just glance at them that was the idea behind you know the S&P 500 down here the little ticker tape trick um, then even if you have a glance of its you know of what that sector is doing so let's say that you believe that this is going to bounce on this 200 or I would believe that that's the 200 I actually don't know I'd have to look at that let me see here right that is the 20 so that's the 10 and the 20 day all right so if you believe that it's going to bounce on this 20 then that's great you know then go ahead and, and take it actually let me go ahead and take it because I just noticed that there's a third line four three and four lines oh that I believe that's the hall and it studies yeah that's the hall moving average and then the simple so it's a 50 and the 200 so yeah they're right the hall moving average are the green and red dotted lines which are not very easy to tell uh, to tell them apart because I believe their thickness is a little bit off. Yeah, it's like width five. Let's go ahead and tone that down to two. And uh, this one as well. Let's bring that down to two just so that it's a little bit easier to see because they got so, you know, they, sh they shrunk in order to fit in the grid. There you go. That's a lot better, right? So they're not as thick. So you can see the red and the green dash. That's the whole uh, moving average. And then these would be the 50 and the 200, sorry, the 50 would be this one, and then the 200 would be this one. Uh, so this 200, if you believe that the energy sector, which is IXE, is about to bounce on this 200 and hold, then that would be, you know, kind of a signal to say, okay, you know what, if you're looking at an energy company, go ahead and take it, because it's got some potential, right? Of course, you probably want that to bounce on the 200 before, uh, before you actually took that trade. Uh, and then you, you know, you, you, you go ahead and, you know, do a quick, quick research on uh, on energy markets and then you'll see that energy markets are you know uh, expected to do better um, here on in on for the rest of the year so that's a good signal that's a you, the more ducks line up you know the more your ducks line up the better off your trade is gonna be this one would probably look like it's on its way down that's uh, materials I believe um, <clears throat> this one is coming back down for a touch okay so you'd want to keep an eye on that one Right, and then some of these are still running, so that'd be great. This one looks like it's pretty cool. That's the transports, I believe. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really tell you when you uh, when you mouse over them. Right, it doesn't. All right. Anyway, that is a script that I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. Uh, so the way you do that is you come over here to tools. Right, and that is this grid script, okay, and that's from James9696. So if you're out there, shout out to James. Uh, and the script is this one, okay. Now that was the S&P 500 sectors. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the, I believe, yes, the chart one, which is this one. Let's go ahead and take a quick preview. Yep, that's the one. All right. Now I believe that I've already imported this, so I don't really need to import it again. The way uh, this one should be here. So let me switch back to the two by two. Switch back to the two by two that I was on, right? And actually, let me go ahead and just you know shrink it down to one because I don't I don't want two uh, two charts side by side. And let me go ahead and look for that one because I believe. I can find it under um, user defined. It could be. Hmm. No, I do not believe I have that. Right. That would be not a grid. Put a chart layout, maybe a style. Did I save it as a style? S and SPX sector chart. There it is. Okay. So this is a, a chart style. All right. So the SPX sector chart, we jump over to that. 
it's a bunch of lines, right? And they all give you the the different sectors, uh, but they're uh, it's just a graphical way to look at the sectors on the same grid or on the same chart, rather, right? And you can compare it to whatever you want, of course. So if you wanted to compare, let's say, Tesla to you know the chart that to the S and P, then the, the Tesla would be the one in the dark uh, dark gray or black, if you will, right? And if you right click on that, it'll tell you that that is Oh, sorry, that is actually, okay, so that is sector 45, which is information technology. All right, so here are the sectors up here. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so you have 11 sectors up here. And one of these other lines then is Tesla, right? So I'm thinking that it's going to be, I don't want to enter a text note. Uh, Tesla is probably one of the higher ones. And this is on the daily. And this is uh, what now? Right? So this is minutes. So this is, that might be Tesla. <laughs> Let me take a peek just because it's, it rocketed up so much. And then that's a simple moving average. So that's just a simple moving average. So somewhere in here, we will find our Tesla. That one looks to be utilities, which is 55, or that's 50. 50 is communication services, so that doesn't really make sense why that would be. I looked at that one. That one is energy, 10, indeed. This one is 25, which is discretionary. So the colors on this uh, laptop seem to be off. This would be 35. Uh, this one would definitely be 55, which is utilities. This one would be materials, 15, indeed. The green one would be industrials, which is 20. The yellow would be financials, which is 40, and then the pink one would be healthcare, or sorry, real estate. Well, pink looks purple. I mean, it looks pink to me, but apparently it's purple. Um, okay, so that is, so this is probably our Tesla chart, right? The one that says the simple moving average one. So you would obviously, obviously um, well, here you go. You could probably edit that right there and then, right? Uh, you'd probably want, <clears throat> well, if it's a simple moving average, then that's probably what it is. So let's go ahead and take at the test, look at the Tesla chart over the past couple of weeks and see if it looks like, you know, something rocketing up and then just kind of dying off right after, I believe it was earnings. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Tesla. So let's switch back over to the one by one. Oh, we have to unload that style. So we don't want to, let's just go back to the regular one. Okay. And Tesla over the past few days, this is one year, that's not what we want. We want about a month, daily month. Where is it? There it is. All right, and there it is. It goes up, rockets up, and then it just kind of fades and crashes back down, which is exactly what Tesla has done over the past few days. Great, so that is a wrap, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, go ahead and drop comments, and definitely give me a like so that I know that you are enjoying this content, finding it uh, useful. And again, if you have any ideas for something that you would want to look at specifically, then we'll go ahead and do it. And um, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to sign up for Xtrade's uh, community membership plans. And if you use my invite link, which is in the description of the video below, I'll give you a personally, you know, a personal uh, free video guided tour of the Xtrade's Discord community as well as um, the 
web app itself, and uh, I can even throw some uh, questions or doubts you might have about Thinkorswim as a platform or TDA Ameritrade as a broker. So I hope you enjoy enjoyed this video and you are enjoying this video series on Thinkscript and Thinkorswim, and I will see you the next time.